The animal kingdom is an unbelievable place. Yep, there are simply millions of species of animals on the planet, including some super unique creatures that wildlife experts are desperate to learn more about. Rare and fascinating, some animals were just born weirder than others. There's so many awesome creatures that roam the earth, we can't wait to introduce you to these incredible critters. From Frankenstein ghost sharks to a rare moth that looks like a shaggy poodle, these are 15 unique animals you won't believe actually exist. It's just unbelievable in the biggest pile of human excrement and waste. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. <coughs> Maned Wolf Wow, just look at this crazy creature. We've never seen a wolf that looks quite like this before. This long-snouted mammal looks like a fox on stilts. It measures up to 35 inches to the shoulders when it's fully grown, making it the tallest member of the canine family in the world. We can't say that we're surprised. The main wolf may be named after a wild dog, but it actually can't be classified as a dog, fox, wolf, or coyote. Yep, it's strange, but it's true. This tall animal has fully circular pupils, whereas an actual fox would have elliptical-shaped eyes for hunting. The maned wolf is a fierce predator, with its main prey being armadillos, rats, reptiles, and birds. And those long legs seem to come in handy. It can see above the tall shrubs in the grasslands of Brazil, Peru, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina, leading scientists to theorize that their legs evolved to help them see above tall grasses and shrubs while looking for prey. Unfortunately, their love for a chicken dinner has angered poultry farmers across its habitat of South America, and they're often killed for trespassing into farmland. In fact, in Brazil, the local maned wolf population has fallen by 20% in 15 years. Today, there are only around 17,000 mature maned wolves left in the wild. We hope that this rare and exotic species will be preserved for a long time to come. Bald Wakari Talk about being red in the face. No, these small South American primates aren't permanently angry, but their bright red faces are actually a result of their very diets. These odd monkeys live exclusively in the Amazon River Basin, where they are well known for their bald heads and colorful appearance. Experts believe that their deep crimson hue may also be a sign of attractiveness to potential mates, as pale skin is often a sign of illnesses such as malaria. Another feature that sets them apart from the rest of the monkey kingdom is their short tails, which are half the length of their bodies. The bald yukari usually weigh an average of 2.75 to 3.45 kilograms, and their bodies are approximately 44 to 45 centimeters in length from head to toe. These sprightly little monkeys love to make flooded rainforests their home and are totally comfortable in their wet habitat, also preferring to live amongst aguaje palm trees. They have a diet of fruits and insects, and even have strong jaws and sharp teeth that can cut through thick fruit skin. They may be small, but they're ruthless. How unique are these incredible little monkeys? <laughs> Orchid Mantis Blink and you'll miss it. These sneaky insects have a very clever trick up their sleeves. We're talking about camouflage. Yep, the orchid mantis is a master of disguise and has even been described as a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> Yikes! They can change their appearance to look exactly like a flower, and when they're totally in character, they look absolutely nothing like insects. They can even change color depending on the environment around them. These insects don't stand a chance. The dark segments of their abdomens can even resemble the ovule of a budding flower, and their leg lobes look just like flower petals. It really is uncanny. Despite imitating flora, these mantises are very much fauna. They have four legs, two sets of wings, and two eyes that stick out from the top of their heads. You can find them in the rainforests of Southeast Asia, and they're native to Malaysia, Myanmar, Thailand, and Indonesia. However, bug collectors from all over the world possess these amazing and unique insects. Orchid mantises are carnivores, and their aggressive mimicry allows them to hunt bees, moths, crickets, bugs, and butterflies successfully. They can even take down frogs, lizards, birds, and rodents thanks to their stealthy undercover strategies. And if disguising yourself as a flower wasn't already enough, the orchid mantis can also fly and has two sets of wings. 
They take down their prey by grabbing them out of the air and shredding their victim with a tiny set of fangs that are small but very deadly. <laughs> Demodex folliculorum It's gross, but there are actually animals that live on your skin. Yeah, you heard that right. Human skin is crawling with mites, and while we can't see them, they're most definitely there. Ew. These disturbing bugs measure just a tiny fraction of a millimeter long, and they just love to feast on human flesh. Is anyone else starting to feel a bit itchy around here? There are actually over 60 different species of parasitic mites like this, but only two make themselves at home on human skin. Demodex folliculorum and Demodex brevis are found on your face, chest, and back, as well as more sensitive areas such as your butt and your groin area. So nasty. Now, while we are all mere hosts to these horrible parasites, they usually don't cause us any health problems. However, the most common ailment is dermatocosis, which occurs when too many settle in one area. This can also cause eye infections and other uncomfortable conditions, although you might be relieved to hear that they're pretty uncommon. In fact, you might be colonized by as many as 1,000 to 2,000 follicle mites at once, and you'd have absolutely no idea. Yeah, healthy adults are absolutely infested by mites and it only gets worse as you get older. Newborn babies don't have any mites at all when they first enter the world. If you really want to get rid of these unwelcome visitors, some people have recommended cleaning areas such as the eyelashes with tea tree or lavender oil or washing your face with baby shampoo to banish these pesky pets. <laughs> Cuttlefish this crazy underwater creature certainly is bizarre. This really is one unique animal that we can't believe actually exists. The curious cuttlefish is a cephalopod, and just like any octopus cousin, it often uses camouflage to blend in with its surroundings. What makes this color-changing creature so fascinating is that it actually is colorblind and doesn't see in color like we do. In fact, the world is mostly black and white to a cuttlefish. Scientists believe that their sensitivity to the blurs of certain shades reflecting under the sea help them to understand and camouflage to their surroundings. Pretty smart, huh? And that's not the only amazing and intelligent thing that a cuttlefish is capable of doing. A recent study showed that the cuttlefish can count better than human babies. Crazy, right? A one-month-old cuttlefish was able to tell the difference between three shrimp and four shrimp, whereas one-year-old human babies are only able to tell the difference between one and two. Yep, cephalopods are so smart that it's almost scary. They even have three hearts, two of which are used to pump blood to the gills and the third to circulate freshly oxygenated blood around the body. If this wasn't alien enough for you, they also possess a greenish blue blood. This animal is seriously strange and obviously one of a kind. <laughs> blue Sea Dragon while we're still exploring the ocean, let's introduce you to the totally unique Blue Sea Dragon Sea Slug, or the Glaucus Atlanticus, if you're going to use its scientific name. These mind-blowing critters float around the water on long, bright blue tendrils called serrata, and their appearance really is out of this world. It's hard to believe that they're a real animal and not a character out of a Dr. Seuss book. However, there's nothing cartoonish about the Blue Sea Dragon. They're actually a ferocious carnivorous predator that uses a venomous sting to paralyze their prey. That's pretty impressive for a creature that's only about an inch and a half long. These famously hermaphroditic animals even hunt the notorious Portuguese man-of-war jellyfish, one of the most deadly creatures on Earth. Yep, the Blue Sea Dragon Slug is immune to the lethal jellyfish's sting, and it can even process the toxin of the Portuguese man-of-war turning it into a more concentrated and deadly sting which is then used on its own prey. Very sneaky. You know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <coughs> Superb Bird of Paradise We can't help but be amused by this unusual New Guinea bird. The Superb Bird of Paradise not only has an extravagant name, but an extravagant dance routine to match. Yep, these bold and beautiful birds are well known for their flamboyant mating rituals in which they perform a special dance and put on an incredible show for their potential mate. Yep, these little guys don't have dating apps, so they have to do things the old-fashioned way. This courtship ritual might look a little strange, but it's certainly eye-catching. The superb bird of paradise spreads out the air jet black wings until only their piercing blue eyes and breastplate is visible. 
It may look out of this world, but it's an ancient practice that's evolved over millions of years. In fact, these bizarre birds have some of the blackest colorings on the entire planet due to the microscopic structure of their feathers, which can absorb 100% of light. Aren't these unique birds amazing? <laughs> Ghost Shark Things are about to get real spooky. We're headed over 5,000 feet under the sea in search of an elusive fish that even scientists know very little about. We're talking about the terrifying ghost shark, a blue pointy nosed creature that's been lurking under the ocean for millions of years. It's covered in weird Frankenstein-like stitches all over and is so rare that it's only been spotted a handful of times. Now, the weird stitches on its body are actually highly developed sensory organs that can sense even the tiniest of movements and vibrations deep under the sea. And it's not technically a shark, but rather the lesser known ratfish. Fossils of the prehistoric ratfish have been found by paleontologists who have dated the creature back to between 350 million to 375 million years. They even predate dinosaurs. No wonder they call it a ghost shark. This thing's been hunting the planet since forever. And now, thanks to modern technology, the ghost shark was finally caught on camera after researchers recorded the animal using a remotely operated underwater vehicle off the coast of Hawaii in California. This is one creepy animal. You wouldn't want to bump into this thing on a dark night, would you? <laughs> Venezuelan Poodle Moth from one rarely seen animal to another, this is the incredibly unique Venezuelan poodle moth. Yep, we know what you're thinking. It's super adorable, and it's even kind of like a Pokemon. But some people believe that it could be as fictional as a Pokemon. You see, it all started back in 2009 when zoologist Arthur Anker uploaded pictures of the poodle moth in the Gran Sabana region of Venezuela's Canema National Park. The internet immediately fell in love with this fuzzy winged critter and comparisons were made to a fluffy poodle or even a small Furby toy. Yup, this weird insect was almost too good to be true. However, it turned out that scientists exploring the Venezuelan National Park were unable to find any evidence of the so-called poodle moth and people began to question whether it was even real. Since then, it looks like a handful of specimens have been spotted and recorded and experts have referred to it as a new species of moth that belongs to the Lepidopteran genus Artes. We really hope that this real life Pokemon does exist as we'd love to see one for ourselves. What do you guys think of this elusive Venezuelan poodle moth? Is it real or is it just a super cute hoax? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. <laughs> Mexican Mole Lizard we bet that you've never seen a lizard quite like this before. The strange Mexican mole lizard looks like a cross between a worm, a snake, and a lizard, and they're mostly found in the region around Baja, California in the United States. These wacky worms are also known as five-toed worm lizards, but they're actually a totally different species to all the other animals. They aren't reptiles, but they are in fact Amphisbanians, meaning that they have the body of a thick round worm but the legs of an amphibian. Pretty weird, right? They have round heads that they use to burrow into the ground and their pale pink complexion is due to the fact that they spend so much of their lives underground that they actually lack melanin, the thing that gives animals their color. The Mexican mole lizard also has a tail that can move independently of its body and two forelegs. This is an extraordinary animal and totally unlike any other creature. How many worms have you ever seen with toes? Unfortunately for the Mexican mole lizard, they only live for one or two years, so they don't have a very long life expectancy. Lowland Streaked Tenric The prickly Lowland Streaked Tenric is native to Madagascar and is a peculiar cross between a shrew and a hedgehog. These guys are super unique with their long pointy snouts, black coats, and yellow spines. You don't want to mess with these spiky little creatures. They even have the ability to bounce back when touched, thrusting their sharp quills into their attacker. Ouch, these things look pretty painful. The fascinating lowland streaked tenric may be rare, but it's also playing a huge part in their local ecosystem. The tiny mammal is vermivorous, which means that their diet mainly consists of earthworms and they're vital in controlling the population of worms under the ground. Wow, <laughs> so you do learn something new every day. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Narwhal 
Yep, we couldn't skip this unique animal on our list. The narwhal has been affectionately nicknamed the unicorn of the sea thanks to its one striking horn that juts out of their mouth. This tusk is actually a tooth, one of two teeth that a narwhal possesses. The prominent spear-like tooth grows in a spiral pattern and it can actually reach up to 10 feet long. We bet that's useful for fishing. The legendary narwhal porpoise can be found in cold arctic coastal waters and rivers, and the females almost never carry this remarkable unicorn horn. For many generations, the Inuit people have hunted narwhals for their extraordinary tusks, as well as their skin, which is a vital source of vitamin C. These incredible sea creatures are also one of the deepest living marine mammals, and they can venture a whopping 6,000 feet beneath the sea. Whoa! That's a pretty long way down. We can't help but love these mythical unicorns of the sea. <laughs> Goody Sapphire Spider And at number 3, it's the rare and much coveted Goody Sapphire Spider, also known as the Blue Ornamental Tree Spider. These creepy crawlies are native to the forests of Goody in India, and they're currently very difficult to find and even more expensive to buy. Spider collectors all over the world dream of owning one of the beautiful but elusive animals, but they're actually a critically endangered species due to its habitat being deforested for firewood. Now, it may be a good-looking spider, but it's a very bad-tempered one indeed. It's well known for being super aggressive, and the general advice is to never attempt to handle one of these royal blue arachnids, as their bite can leave you in intense pain for as long as a week and even leave you in need of medical attention. Hey, you don't have to tell us twice to avoid hunting this huge tarantula. <laughs> Axolotl Check out this cute little critter. This happy chappy sure puts a smile on our face. This unique creature is only found in one region in the world, in Xochimilco in Mexico, where it's also known as the Smiling Salamander. These cheerful amphibians measure anywhere from 6 to 18 inches and have been growing in popularity as household pets due to their adorable faces and miniature bodies. They range in color from a pale white to a pretty pink, and they have enchanting feathered gills that undulate under the water. Interestingly, the name Axolotl translates as water dog, which is what the ancient Aztecs considered them to be. These critically endangered creatures also have a mythological status and, and were revered in ancient Aztec culture due to one mind-blowing ability. Yep, the smiley axolotl can incredibly regenerate not only their limbs, but their jaws, spines, and even their brains. That's an awesome superpower. Not only can they resurrect their own body parts, but they're 1,000 times more resistant to cancer than mammals are. Scientists are even trying to find a way to utilize this awesome natural resistance in cancer treatments for humans. No wonder these amazing amphibians always have such a big smile on their faces. Pangolin These awesome armored animals are incredibly unique. In fact, they're so intriguing that these unusual creatures are critically endangered and their irresponsible trading in wet markets has had a major impact on world health in recent times. Unfortunately for the unlucky pangolin, their meat is considered to be a luxury delicacy and their scales are used in traditional Chinese medicine, making them a huge target for poachers. A few years ago, these rare pangolins, spotted in their natural African habitat, were photographed along with their protectors to promote the misunderstood creature's welfare. Hopefully one day, the endangered pangolin will thrive in the wild, safe from human interference. Wow, we just can't believe that these animals actually exist. There are some seriously bizarre critters out there. We wonder how many of them haven't even been discovered yet. So which one of these unique animals is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.